Hey buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as China in the Emperor Tutorial Series. So, the general plan is to get these last cities settled. We have uh, one final settler coming out of the capital, and we can finally get rid of this plus 50% production towards settlers card. So, uh, we have to kind of th talk about what our next move is. We could go for Siege Tactics. It would be good to unlock this so we can start building the renaissance walls um some other things we could go for we could pick up education uh universities for extra tourism i think the correct move here is to just get to siege tactics as fast as possible because we have no chance of ever building the two bombards so we get this out of the way we pay a little bit more because we're researching it ahead of time but it does let us rebuild the renaissance walls a little bit earlier because if you remember the uh limes card will be going away once we research uh civil engineering so uh, we need to keep an eye on the great engineers here because there are two great engineers that we really, really want. And they're the ones that give you boosts towards um, great construction of wonders because there are two critical wonders that are super important for a tourism victory. And they are the Crystal Red and Tor and the Eiffel Tower. Those are really, really important. Uh, Broadway can be okay, but generally speaking, Crystal Red and Tor and... Eiffel Tower are like the two wonders that you want to get. If you can get both, you pretty much auto win and it's going to be an easy game. If you don't get either, it's going to be a long drawn out pain in the ass of a game. Um, and if you get one of either, it's kind of like, eh, it'll probably be an okay game. So I want to convert the city, but I want to be careful about it. I don't want to get caught with my religion down. Uh, now, I wanted to save money for something. I can't remember what it was, but uh, I know I wanted to save money for something. Uh, you'll go there, and you are going to continue to shop for me. Alright, you're exploring. There's some good knowledge to be had down here. Oh, okay, finally, we met Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, that's great, because that means we're going to start generating more tourists towards more players. So meeting more players is really, really good. Uh, in fact, we're going to send him a delegation and immediately see if we can get open borders with him. And he will get that. I want to get a cultural alliance with this guy. He'll probably pay me one gold per turn. That Viga will maybe give me... A research alliance. She doesn't have any money, unfortunately. I'll still take the research alliance so that I can use her to generate some science. She'll likely trade with me and that'll help me get a bit more science. Okay, we'll place that there. Um, you want to come over here and help this city. I'm going to go to the next turn. Goodbye. I want to get all this land chopped in here while I still have Magnus established and then I can move Magnus over to Handan and get some advantage over there. Yeah, keep moving. Alrighty, we're going to chop here. 129 production slapped into Mont Saint Michel. You guys get into position. You head over there. We're going to start converting this city. That city there is converted. Excellent. So we're getting a lot of error score from converting these cities. It's really brilliant. And we are going to settle right here. Well, I guess I could settle on the wine now that I've got this luxury um, this luxury pressure lifted off of me. That would give me slightly better position. Is Petra already built? Petra has already been built, right? Did I research Petra? I did not. Has Petra been built? You know what? Petra might not be built yet. We're going to go for it. We're going to see if we can get Petra. I don't think it's been built yet. If I can get it, that would be really, really good. And you are waiting for room. You're going to chop here to finish the holy site. You're guarding. You are exploring. Good job. <clears throat> because if I got Petra in here, that would feel really, really nice. There's a couple of desert hills. That means we are going to switch our tacking to mathematics. We are going to save this builder. We are going to place an aqueduct because we definitely want the housing in here. But we'll go for the monument. Pingala was supposed to be assigned to the capital now. Now that I have all my cities following my religion, I can place Pingala in my capital. 
and I can promote him. That's not the button that I wanted to press. I wanted to press promote. I want to get him here. I'm going to take the connoisseur promotion. You go to here. Okay, we're starting to establish our religion. You fortify there. And let's get another missionary. You stay there. We are going to ideally chop the medieval walls. Overflow into the Mont Saint Michel. Chop the holy site, finish the shrine. Go there, that'll be worth faith and culture. You have to build charges in Chen. I would like to get this tile here into a mine. We can move Magnus from here soon. I'd like another builder in here. Oh, hello. That is an apostle come to ruin my day. Shrine has been completed here. And let's just get ourselves another builder. All right. How many build charges? You've got three. Let's go chop that banana. You're waiting. And we have a missionary. Use your spread. There we go. The city has a decent amount of pressure in it. You're going to go there. Wait, I thought I had... Oh, right. I hope someone hasn't built a Petra. It would be really amazing if I managed to get Petra this late into the game. If I were again a diplomat, is a genuinely... Genuinely amazing. Alright, looks like it's been taken. Oh well. We still get a pretty good city over here. Industrial zone. Monument. Work on the monument. Farm triangle here to help the city grow choose thingy here i'd like to unlock niter but i think well how long until the next era we've got about 12 turns until the next era so i guess i could delay it a little bit pick up niter maybe build a unit with niter to get a bit more era score we're pretty close to getting the era score we need um we have spies available now let's pick up humanism for the art museum and the archaeological museum let's Chop there. You're waiting, okay. And you're going to settle here. Let's make sure we have all these choppable tiles in this city. Great. You go for the monument to start spreading your borders. You can fortify there now. You come this way next turn. Unit needs orders here. The plan is I'm going to harvest these and put a mine on it so that we can put a forest on this later. Normally I wouldn't do this, but this is a really valuable tile, so I'm going to put something on it really quick. Okay, now we've met India. This is another great sib to meet. Looks like he's building Chichen Itza. And keep in mind, China is actually a very, very terrible civilization um, in the sense that they don't have any really useful bonuses that other civilizations, like, they don't have anything that really helps them win the game. Like, they get a couple of wonders early, easily. That's, like, that's their major bonus. All right, Colosseum is still up. So, we want to get the arena. It'll take us a while to get there, but we're in good shape. Let's get another mine there. And you are a religious... I want to carefully move forward here. Okay, that's an apostle. I don't want to get murderized. Please don't have the debater promotion. He has the debater pr pr promotion. We are super dead. <coughs> I'm going to harvest all this terrain, put a farm there, that'll give that city some growth. Then, scout. Oakley doakley. Medieval era. So the monument has been completed here. Um, we need to figure out, this is a really good industrial zone right here. Force growth in this city. Mont Saint Michel in four turns. Pretty good. Uh, let's go hide in this city. It's a lot of bad, 
Bad angry apostle, man. Let's park Moksha in Handan to get a little bit of AoE spread. Oh wow, we actually have a lot of pressure up here. I'm gonna put him in Chengdu. Because that will give me some pressure. Well, Changsha would be better, but here we'll do. And then we'll assign you down, uh, I guess, in Guangzhou. That'll be Gucci, Bucci, Stucci. Goodbye. You want to buy this? Sure thing. Give me the gold per turn. At this point, I'll take gold per turn because I'm not. There's nothing I really need to immediately purchase, so I'll take long-term gold. The city was losing loyalty. Um, it is time to move Magnus from this city. I'm going to start building mines down here. Uh, where are we going to put them? We're probably going to put them over here in Handan. So I'm going to wait for this chop, though, next turn. Oh, I can get it this turn. Up to 14 population here, which is great. The city will lose population for a while, but we'll be able to fix that. Um, let's switch Magnus now to Handan, because that has a lot of chops in it. So we chopped out all this stuff, and all we really got out of it was the um, Mont Saint Michel. But we we opened up all the land as well, and we got a really high population in here. And you can see now we're getting a decent amount of science and culture from the population alone. Probably would have been good to build districts in here, but I really wanted Mont Saint Michel so that I could purchase apostles and guarantee relics, um, which will give me more value out of my holy sites. In case I don't have a whole lot of um, room for uh, national parks. Sure thing. I'll do a one for one with a little bit of extra gold on top for me. That sounds reasonable. Let's get a friendship with Gandhi. Make a deal. We already have open borders. Would you like to buy my wine? You already have my wine. Economic alliance. Okay. Maybe you should have done a religious alliance with Poland. They would have been more reluctant to... Uh, attack me religiously I feel religiously attacked so for sure I should place my districts in here that's a theater square uh, that's a good industrial zone right there then theater square industrial zone campus wouldn't be a miss I don't really have a very good campus I already have the commercial hub there's an okay-ish campus there. Um, I don't need an aqueduct. I could also get an okay holy site. Like right there. Has a bunch of adjacency. One, two, three. And we're looking potential for good adjacency there. And then... Plus one campus. So this city has a bunch of districts slammed down. It's only really missing three. Um, let's make sure we finish the Mont Saint Michel in two turns. You. The nice thing is that this opens up a good theater square for Shanghai, actually. And we'll place it just because. Uh. It's a good farm, farm triangle right here, I think. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, I think I'd rather get my mines online first. Let's do that. Let's purchase this tile. Let's switch to ancient walls so that we get the multiplier. Boom. We get to overflow into an industrial zone. That's really not a lot of overflow. And Poland stole one of those mine tiles, so that kind of sucks, but what can you do? I really need those great, I really need the uh, great engineer point generation, though. That's really what I'm fishing for here with a couple of extra um, industrial zones. The more science in all that blisters is not gold. Okay, great. We got military engineering, which unlocks NIDER, which means we have the potential to maybe... Hey, look, here's a NIDER tile. Great. Fantastic. Settler completed in the capital. This allows me to finally get rid of the Settler card, and now we can put in um, Theater Square adjacency wouldn't be terrible. I think we'd like the extra production here, just to 
this is like worth a lot of production because it's per city and we have a lot of cities. Uh, other things we could go for. Don't have a whole lot of trade routes. This would have been good while we were building that wonder, but I needed the settler production more than anything. So we left the settler production in. I think I like Merchant Confederation to increase my gold yield. I could take Autocratic Legacy here. It would give me a decent amount of yields in my couple of cities. Um, actually, it would be. I think it would be worth it to take Autocratic, Autocratic Legacy over. Plus one production in all cities. It's pretty. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. All right. Uh, choose production here. A settler has been completed. The settler is going up over here. We have a lot of work to do in the capital. Let's get our growth buildings. At long last, the capital can finally do useful things. This is the one downside of building a lot of settlers late in the game is that your capital and other cities are really low in population. But you can recover from it. It is entirely possible. Uh, for sure, we want the growth. As good as that sheep tile is production in here make sure that city is growth i don't mind if that city loses a bit of population it's not going to bother me at all uh because i basically done what i need to here we need to get builders sent over here so i'm probably going to build a builder in taiwan there's mont saint michel and now it might be worth it to evangelize my religion and purchase some apostles to get relics so uh even though we have all this other stuff we need to do uh i kind of need builders to develop my empire and this is the best city to build it in so there you go they're converting my cities i think we're going to go and prove that sheep because it's a decent tile and we have builder charges available we definitely want to build it over here in handan to get this city up and running i need these two harbors completed you wait there mine there okay the city is starting to get a good production See if you can take the long route over there. Uh, your delegation is welcome. Excellent. So people are being friendly with me. We should actually have a couple of tourists at this point now. Yeah, there we go. We've got two tourists out of 47. One of them is with Catherine. One of them is with Yaya Varman. And the rest are with nobody. We've got two more civilizations we can meet. So we're off to a good start, I'd say. I need builders to build the... Uh, Colosseum. That's what this builder is going to do. You are building mines for me. The city has very, very weak growth, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It's okay if it loses a bit of population here or there. It takes a very long time for it to lose pop. It's not worth the work food in there right now because it's uh, such low food multipliers. Boop, boop. There we go. I grow one turn sooner for 75% less production. That's definitely not worth it. Unfortunately. Granary completed in the capital. That's going to help it grow. Need a water mill. Uh, we're going to trade with Chengdu here. Because we need the capital catch up on growth. So we need that local food. Uh, we have the temple. More builders, please. Colosseum right there. I actually do think a... Well, I might put a district there. Probably would have been better to put a... thing there. We'll see what we do. We'll see if I want to put that there. Um... So where do I want to start building great wall tiles? Because they're going to start giving me tourism soon. I think out in this desert is a good area to maybe consider. I want to build them in long strings, ideally. On the edges of my terrain. Boop. City is just going to build granary and monuments and stuff like that. It's not really going to build any districts. It's kind of late into the game to really get value out of building a district in this city. Yeah, my bad. I'll settle elsewhere. Goodbye. 
So if we want now, we can convert our apostles into relics. Well, I guess we can go chop there. We have a free builder. Do that. Delete that pin. I don't know. I think I sent this free builder away elsewhere. You're waiting there. More mines. Need lots of production. We need lots of walls. We're getting printing. We're not going to have time to build two universities, unfortunately. This is not going to happen. And we did not get a golden age, which does not feel good because it is the last time we can get monumentality. But we already have something we could spend our faith on, so that's fine. I think I'm just going to grab reform the coinage because that'll give me a couple of era score this era. Not a huge amount. Likely we will fall into a dark age, which is okay. We're going to pick up uh, the enlightenment here because we have a boost towards it. We have six envoys. We could go up to this. It's quite good. Uh, more mines. I just need to develop my terrain. It's critically important. Uh, might purchase a builder in here to get things, get the ball rolling. The great work of writing. I really need to get my theater square finished in here. I have two great writers sitting around doing nothing. Lighthouse. Uh, I should really finish the monument. should really place another district. And I think... Well, there was going to be a seaside resort here. But I think it's just going to be an entertainment... Oh, I should have done a water park right there. Then I could have done something else here. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I was kind of thinking two steps ahead of myself, and then I tripped over myself, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of out of great work slots, which is what can happen when you have um, the Oracle. So this is where the Colosseum is going. You're just standing there in preparation for building it. Oh man, he only just built Petra too, like recently. If I had settled this sooner, I maybe I would have been able to get it, but the loyalty problems were... Really the thing preventing me. All right, let's go ahead and get the Colosseum. Right here has the maximum overlap with my cities. Insert production, take five turns off. Uh, a seven build charge builder is 15%, so that's 30%, 60%, 90%. So yeah, so a seven build charge builder can actually build a wonder entirely by himself. Uh, we are going to grab nationalism for defensive reasons. We would like to get the lighthouse. I'd like to get the granary. I'd like to build a charge over here. I think I'm going to get the lighthouse for the trade route. Trade routes are really valuable. We're going to start chopping in this city. Move these guys clockwise around the city. Make sure he owns all the forested tiles. We want to get this guy done as fast as possible. You. So we're kind of letting him religiously conquer us right now. We're not too worried about it. Uh, let's get ourselves an apostle. We'll consider uh, evangelizing. Depends if the evangelized belief I want is gone or not. So he has martyr. Really what I need is to launch an Inquisition and get some Inquisitors. Uh, art Museum, Archaeological Museum. I definitely want to get an Archaeological Museum or two, but I have to consider how soon am I getting a great artist. I'm quite a bit away from it. <coughs> Do I have a governor promotion? I do. 100% great people points. Please, Pingala. You are in the capital, correct? You are. I think I'm going to grab the... I'm going to grab the basic stuff right now. I've been delaying it too long. I'm going to harvest this for gold so that I can purchase more builders. You're going to insert into that. You're going to chop here. That will finish that. We're going to chop out the amphitheater because we really need room for great works. Uh, looks like his dudes have run away. That's good. Even if it's temporary. 
go there, go there. We start working the medieval walls so that we can production overflow through the walls. After printing, we are going to pick up siege tactics to get Renaissance walls. We need to, we need to at least we, we don't need to build them before we we don't need to build them before we research steel, but we need to have started building them before we reach search steel. That's uh it's pretty important. I'll explain that briefly. So basically we want to try to build them all before we have civil engineering, which gives us which obsoletes the policy lines, which makes it twice as fast to build walls. If you can't do that, at least you want to start building them before you get steel, which makes it so you can't build walls anymore. And we do want to get steel relatively early in this game because it has the Eiffel Tower and the Eiffel Tower is really important. We also kind of want to save up faith and keep fishing for the um great engineers that give us wonder construction so that we can easily build the Crystal Redentor and the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so you can see our empire is developing. We have a really, really large empire and uh, things are coming along. That is bad news because he is going to attack me and not Poland. I got very fortunate there because usually the Barbarian AI prioritizes attacking a player. Now, could we get the Forbidden Palace? Let's have a look. At the Forbidden City. Hmm. 84 turns in here. I need a city with really good production. Can't get it there. I could build it here. I could chop it out. We've got the chops. Right there. If I build it right here, both these cities could build really nice theater squares. Alternatively. Do I want to go for the Forbidden City? It's really good. If I'm going to go for it, I really should have that card slotted in. Oh, I meant to chop through the medieval walls. Whoops. Oh, well. I knew there was a warrior there and I still walked over there. I don't know what's wrong with me. A uh, farm triangle? All right, let me think. Appeal map mode. For sure. Okay. Whoa, loyalty map mode. Pog champ. We could settle here. How much to first settler? Might be worth settling over here in the late game. Get another national park. All right. We'll think about it. In the meantime. Right. I'm trying to think where I need to place a builder charge. The city's okay on builder charges. Uh, we'll head over there anyway. Definitely want an Inquisitor to try and clear out all this crap I'm dealing with in terms of religion. All right, almost got that. Goodbye. Definitely need more science. Science is something I'm super weak on, but just haven't found time to actually build any campuses or anything like that. I have really good campus locations, just not enough time to build them. Let's get there. We're going to chop through the medieval walls, use the multiplier. You know how it is. Insert there. That should finish that in a turn. Uh, you run away this way. I don't want you to get, get you killed to random barbarian swordsmen running around Poland's territory. That's Poland's problem, not mine. Monument completed in the capital. Let's get the ancient walls. We are going to chop here, use the overflow on the Forbidden City. Go here. How are you doing? All right, you're making progress. Lock in all those hills. There's that builder. Get over here. Okay. While the Colosseum stands, 
Nice, there's the Colosseum. That's going to give us a huge boost to culture and a huge boost to amenities. If I click here, boop, boop, huge boost to culture. Very nice. Um, okay. I really want to get the medieval walls, but I need to get the amphitheater. And I need to build the government building too. I'm going to get the amphitheater because I'm literally, literally leaving tourism on the table here um, by not having it right now. And... Oh, God, I really want the temple for the faith. Get the temple. Hurry. Chop it out. Chop it out, boys. Squash that beef. I don't even know what that means, but I've heard Americans say it. <laughs> it just sounds really gross. What are you doing? I'm squashing a beef. Jesus. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, head over here. Need to do some chopping. Get down here. I want to chop this. Uh... Yeah, 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 there's Japan. We're going to send a delegation to Japan. We want to be friends with everyone, remember? The more people we're friends with, it means we get more tourism with other players when we trade with them. So we will make a deal. Open borders, make a deal. He's going to make me pay. I will sell him my lovely one. He'll give me six gold per turn. That's perfectly reasonable. At this point in the game, you don't need to optimize how much gold you get out of it, like per turn or whatever. Or, or, or how much raw gold you get. It's, it's fine. You just take gold per turn. It's okay. You don't need to super optimize at this point. Did you get these medieval walls built? Medieval walls represent direct tourism. Let's get our hands on an Inquisitor. You're exploring for me. You're almost there. You're going there. You're going there. You're chopping here. It's down to 27 turns. Okay. Need more mines out and stuff. Need more builders out. God. Your embassy is a welcome addition. Um, I might straight up just purchase an amphitheater in here just to get room. Medieval walls go. Some of my cities are starting to flip religiously. I'm going to flip this city back to me. With that missionary... Chop here, get that done a little bit quicker. Tell you what, also grab this forest and this. So I can keep chopping in here to get out more builders. Alright, chop, chop, chop. Inquisitor. Get rid of this religion that we don't want. Nobody expects the Chinese Inquisition. Uh... We're up to 59 gold per turn. Feels good, feels good. We're on track for a good win. Now, normally I wouldn't build as many wonders, but I'm kind of gimping myself um, just to show that you can beat Emperor even when you're playing suboptimally. Um, these, I would never, I would never normally go for Mont Saint Michel. This is a mistake. Don't ever go for this wonder. Uh, this wonder is a mistake. Um, the. And that, these two wonders ate up a lot of my production. Um, this wonder is fine. This one is fine because I use builder chops. It would also be fine otherwise. If I wasn't building these wonders, I would have like three districts built in these cities right now. Um, so that's why you shouldn't go for them. But I'm going for them because I kind of just want to build wonders. I really want the trade route. I don't think I can afford to get the trade route before I get the walls. I just don't have the time. Coastal cities are going to suck for a while. It's okay. Don't worry. You will survive. I'm going to get the monument to spread my borders a little bit. The city is well protected. So, remember, when you're defensive, you want to have the mountains towards the direction of the enemy. Mountain is towards the direction of the enemy. Kind of. This is less good. This is perfect. It's like one mountain right here. Makes it hard to attack the city. Uh, another one. Another mountain right here. Making it hard to attack the city. But then, then I went and settled here, which kind of ruined it, but still. Inquisitors basically erase um, enemy religions, which is great. Uh, from a certain perspective, if you don't want those religions in your cities, go here, chop. Uh, you wait there. You harvest, finish that industrial zone. I don't need the workshop, but I do want the plus great engineer points. Uh, I want to place more districts in here. This is a good thing. Definitely want the commercial hope for the trade routes. Right there is fine. Uh, we could overflow into a water mill, which would give us food and production. This would give me growth. 
Like I want to grow in this city, so that's fine. Continuing to explore here, simply just to reveal the map. I'll do a one for one deal for luxuries. That's perfectly reasonable. There's no real commentary to be made here. So uh, I was going to purchase this amphitheater. Um, I still have a lot of stuff I need to build in here. Uh, so prioritizing, time to prioritize a little bit. <coughs> All right, let's think, let's think. Let's think about this city, what it has, what it doesn't have. It lacks food, that's fine, we can lack food. Food is not important, food is not that important. It has lots of production, that's good. It's currently at a negative deficit of six food. Watermill is actually important to get in here. It'll give a it production. I really need to get these, but this will actually significantly speed it up by about 10% if I get the watermill first. Um, theater square completed in here. I really want the amphitheater for the room to actually use these guys. Oh my god, I have room over here. Holy crap. I found myself in As a young boy. We're up to 80 uh, tourism per turn. I want another amphitheater. We're not far from getting another great rider. Like, they're coming hard and fast, which is what she said. But it's something we have to keep in mind. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we've got mines. Damn, we need builders. We need builders everywhere. We need builders everywhere. What we really need is this technology right here. Conservation. This city could definitely use a builder. I think I'm going to move Magnus over here. There's a couple of good forest chops in here. Uh, let's grab a builder. We will chop here. We got that down to 10 turns. And now we can move Magnus. Reassign Magnus to uh, Chen. Okay, done. And the reason we're reassigning Magnus to Chen here is so we can chop these forests. Okay. Uh, we have room. This is zero appeal tile, but we can fix that later. For now, it's just providing us production throughout the game. Uh, this territory over here on the coast is going to have to be significantly changed as we get into the late game. For now, it's fine. We really need more science. Science is our biggest struggle right now. Um, I need to get this city. Oh, okay. Nice. You can actually build a campus. But I'll leave, I'll leave that sort of stuff until the next episode. Uh, we're just about to run out of time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time.